everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Karu and I'm here with our favorite video of each month, finished pages. I actually did not film one for June, um, so I have two whole months to share with you today. And partially that was mostly I, ha I, I was just not feeling up to filming and editing these. I am behind, I think, a couple of months even before this that I haven't uploaded. It's, it's, they're filmed. I just haven't edited them and um, uploaded them. So we'll see which one comes out first. I will try to keep the edits to this one to a minimum. Uh, sorry, future me, if you have to edit a lot. Um, and um, yeah, let's, let's get into it. We shall start with small victories. I uh, guess I should start with saying for June, I basically had a very overarching theme of uh, Pride Month, so I had a lot of rainbows and Pride coloring pages, and this one is no exception, as I colored this cupcake page. And what I did was each of the cupcakes are colored using a different flag. So the uh, different flags, this one was um, uploaded as a color along, and don't think I did the last four in, as the color along, because I think that I did those off screen. But I did do the rest, and I even uploaded the color combinations I used for each of the flags. So that was fun. I It made it a lot easier to do this page, to be honest. I had fun both making it so that there was some kind of order here. I have LGBT on the, fir on the first row, and then I had all of the... A specs on the second row. Nope, third. Second and third row, actually. There's a lot of A specs. Oh, right. One was uh, gender related and one was um, uh, sexuality related. That's the difference. And then I had a couple of extras at the bottom. Uh, but yeah, overall, it was fun um, picking out which cupcakes would work best with which colors and trying to keep to the theming as well so um yeah uh that is the only page i finished in small victories and that was in june i do have a couple of work in progresses i have this page that i'm working on and i am getting a bit overwhelmed with the amount of these and how chaotic this is looking because i am mostly doing random colors I, I believe I was trying to test out different pencils, but then I didn't write down exactly which pencils I was using for uh, the first three, I think, and then I switched to another set. So, yeah, um, go me, I guess. I, I, I try to keep notes, but then it doesn't work out. And then I had started doing these for the Johanna Basford contest that was going on, and I only got four done. And again, I felt a bit... Um, overwhelmed with choosing colors and coloring such little things so I left it there so now I have those two um, that I'm gonna have to work on I also try to keep this one for when I'm out uh, visiting family or whatever so I try I tend not to color in it too much when I'm at home so that was the first book I'm just going in order by my pile, um, so two months are going to be a bit uh, mixed here, but uh, in Magical Woodland Coloring Book by Kate Pellerin, I did this page, which, um, let me just grab my notebook here with the info, um, flower portrait. Yes, I picked this one for Portrait Year of Color, which for June was Purple Eyes, Purple Hair. And I had fun. I, I had really wanted to start a page here and uh, decided that this would work well. I think it's the only one that would work as a portrait. It is done entirely in alcohol markers. And a bit of... I did not write it down. Um looks like might be the jelly roll metallics right on the flower there but the rest was just alcohol marker um the lines in this book are really thin it makes it a bit hard to work with um alcohol markers because of the bleeding um, paper is a good quality though so at least it doesn't bleed as much as say amazon paper does 
but yeah, that was that was a challenge. <laughs> I do like how I managed to get the the bit of of uh, gradient in the background and the hair and all that. I haven't done that many portraits, and and this isn't a very realistic um, art style, so that works well too. I do like how how the coloring came out on the bottom too, the overall color scheme there. So that was my very first one in Magical Woodland. So this also went towards a June Color Your Horde. Next up is a million kawaii cuties. And I did one for June and one for July. Um, both for the Lulu Mayo Scavenger Hunt by Coloring Bumblebee. So the first one I colored... Nope, that's the one I'm coloring this month. First one I colored was this one for June. So as you can see, my Pride Month uh, theme was still going strong, and I did a rainbow for the background, and I absolutely love how colorful this page is. I'm just really enjoying the Lulu Mayo book for, for that, for just bright colors. Um, I based everything in, um, I believe it was, well, definitely water markers. Um, did I put down what type of? Here is I can't find it. Okay. Anyways. I think it was mostly a hoo hoo um water base markers. And then I used brute funer pencils for shading on top. And a bit of probably the opaque jelly roll that's jelly roll moonlight for the little stars there and the bits of white highlights overall i absolutely love how this came out i think the only thing i don't like is the pink and blue shading i did on the clouds it looks looks a bit messy um but otherwise i like it and then for july Oh, and this was for uh, Strawberry, the scavenger hunt uh, for June. One of them was Strawberry, so that's why I did this page. Then for July, I did this page also for the scavenger hunt, and this one was Sun. And this was probably my favorite page in the book, so I was excited to color this one in. Uh, again, I used um, an off-brand, I think it's a Dega something like that uh, markers that I had gotten to test out they're basically just your generic brush marker fine liner um, so they're a bit more streaky than the uh, hoo, hoo ones are and you can definitely tell it in the Sun and the sky but um, I did my best to go with the flow of what I was coloring in I think the only mistake I made was I, I did these two going sideways and then I decided to do the rest all going um, in the shape of the ray so you can't really tell with the shading though so and then here I tried to make it look like the sun was going through the cloud and I'm not sure if I like that but it is done especially because there's no like like the the ray here is missing it should probably be more um, yellow behind that but you know what I like it Again, it looks like, uh, like, um, reminds me of like children's books. It's just so bright and sparkly. And again, I had some Jelly Roll Moonlight for the stars. And yeah, there we go. So that was in A Million Kawaii Cuties by Lulu Mayu. And then the final small book, I have Spooky, which has so many tabs right now, uh, by Sarah Seswick. And this one I am coloring for uh, the Group Buddy Color by Christina's Art Corner. And June's page was this sparkly little wide-eyed cat, which I decided was a perfect opportunity for me to try out... Um, some galaxy backgrounds. So the background on this was done with the um, US Supply uh, gel sticks. 
it was a bit of a mess, but honestly, eh, I like it. I like how, how the, the, the effects came out. And I think I used some pencil to, to work uh, a bit more in the corners and the details. And then I used a spray fixative, a workable fixative to bat that down. And then I colored the rest with the Uhuhu watercolor mark, uh, water-based markers. And then on top of that, I did some shading. The water-based markers look interesting on that fixative. I don't know if you can see it in, you can definitely see the shine and the eyes do have an additional uh, jelly roll glaze on top, but there's less streaking, uh, especially on the body. You would expect to see more streaking of the markers and there is none. I, I did use pencil on top, but even before that, it was it was a very smooth look to it because of the fixative making the colors kind of glide on top of it. Um, so I might have to try that again on other pages. The only thing I did notice was that it looked a bit grainy, which I don't know if it's visible here, but you can definitely tell in the leaves and the flower. Um, because I think there's a lot of pencil on top of the body, so you can't really tell as much anymore. But yeah, there was a bit of like a, a grainy texture to it from, from the fixative. But overall, I kind of like the, the, the fact that, you know, you either get the streakiness or you get that like kind of speckle effect. And um, I don't think I mind the speckle effect, so definitely might try that again. It definitely made for a smoother page too. Um, it didn't cur uh, curl as much. And even though I put more than one layer of the darkness of the uh, dark uh, marker, it did not bleed through too much. You can definitely tell the like speckling here on this side. Um, but at least it's it's fine. This, this side, you, you don't have anything. You can still read the text, which was the important part for me. That's why I haven't used alcohol markers on this book. So, and yeah, I added some... Uh, I think that's a uh, Sakura Jelly. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's the one that has uh, like just sparkles. And I put that on top of these areas here to add some sparkle. But the, sh the shine of the page is so much that I'm not sure if you can tell the difference between the glowy parts. <laughs> yeah, so that was June's page. And then what we have... This was July's page. I did not want to do anything on the background for this one, so I just left it blank. And this one was done with um, water, uh, watercolor pencils. And I think I used an acrylic marker to black out the cat. And I had some errors there where I kind of touched it where it was um, still wet. But I think I, only I can see that, so it's fine. It looks good. <laughs> I do like the effect I got with the with the lights here and the overall uh, limited color palette. And I did try using a lone uh, gelato. It's a it's a shiny gelato that a friend of mine found in their house, and they were like, "Hey, you do you do stuff with this here? Take it." So it's a purple gelato that I used for putting over the background areas, and it gives it a bit of a shimmer. And I'm not sure if the camera will catch the shimmer. Um, it definitely catches the shine of the eyes from the glaze. But there is a subtle shimmer in the background that you can probably only see in person. That looks really cool. So that was July's page. And then I finished this one in July as well. This was a work in progress I had started earlier. I think I did. I started this in May. And um, July for me was a work on my work in progresses, try to get as many work in progresses done. So this page was one of the ones I finished. And this one has less stuff going on for it. It is mostly pencil. And I think I used mostly the Hiforni set, which is a 72 set of pencil. And I tried to just limit myself to that. And uh, the only other thing beside that was a bit of glaze for the eyes and a bit of white, probably white gel pen. Let me see if I can find that page. Uh, yes, white jelly roll. 
uh, for adding just, just a bit of touch here and there um, where the light is hitting stuff. But other than that, I kept it simple. Just the Hiforni pencils and a Jelly Roll Glaze in White. I like how it looks. It it does slightly bother me that these two pages have white backgrounds for the um, Instagram uh, scans. I added color digitally to the backgrounds and they look so much nicer. And I've gotten used to seeing them on, on there. So I might go back and try something. I don't know, maybe with uh, gouache or acrylic. But I don't want to mess it up or even crinkle more pages. And the point of this one was to keep it as simple as possible and only use pencils. So we'll see. It's it's not the first one I haven't done background with because this one doesn't have a background either. So I might just leave it blank and, and leave because I do have some full color. So I have that one and I did this one full full background as well. So we'll see. We'll see. So slowly catching up there and getting quite a few pages done. And that was Spooky Spooky from Sarah Seswick. And these are for Witch Cat Spooky from Christina's Art Corner. All right, moving on to the bigger books. We have uh, Mythographic Wild Summer from Joseph Kattenbang. And this is his newest book. And I really wanted to do a page for uh, World Ocean Day in May. So I started it before then and I did most of the um, base work on it and then completely left it behind. Didn't touch it in June and then came July and I was trying to do all of my work in progresses so I picked it back up again and I said I'm gonna finish this and it took me like two or three nights to shade everything and add all the colors. But uh, I like it. It's 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 very. I like that I managed to get the depth I was looking for, especially on um, the whale. And uh, I got the water uh, foam looking like uh, how I wanted it to, with the darker colors on the bottom and then like the layers on top being whiter. I considered whiting them out, but I felt like it was gonna lose that effect if I did that. So I decided to just leave the line art as it was and I used some um, Jelly Roll Metallic for the stars and I think that's the only embellishment I used on this page. Most of it was just pencil. This was the Brute Funers and the Ohuhu um, alcohol markers. So yeah, you can see <laughs> the glare of the pencils and the shine of the stars. <laughs> Let me get a bit closer so you can see all the little details and there we go so that is wild summer by joseph kettenbeck and yeah i finished that one in july i'm gonna leave world of wonders for last because that's got the most going on for it so next book is coloring haven presents summer and these are multiple different artists and i colored this page by a go to pop and this was in june so this was another um pride month coloring and i tried something different here i i picked up a purple alcohol marker shaded everything and then put the colors on top it worked sort of i probably should have used a darker purple uh, but i wanted to keep the lighting uh not too sharp harsh and the problem is, especially with the dark colors, you cannot see the light purple because it just eats up the purple. And I tried going over it again in some areas, but for the most part, yeah, it it sort of kind of works. And you can probably see the shading more in person than um, in the recording. You can definitely tell where there's light, lighter areas or where it's been left white that there is some shading. Um, but other than that, it it does look a bit flatter than I was hoping it would. But yeah, this was another uh, activity of mine for for Pride Month. And I got as many different flags as I could into these. Again, had fun deciding which of these was going to be which. And in this case, because of the way the page was, I actually put the flag that each one was representing. So there is a guide. And yeah, this was 
fairly simple, just alcohol marker on top of alcohol marker. And the page I have on my feet, legs was slipping. Um, yeah, so this was finished for June. And that was my first page in the Coloring Haven Summer Book. And then we have Coloring Haven Fantasy Mushroom Special, which again has uh, by different artists. And I chose this page, which is by Lainey Dow. And this one was me testing out some uh, acrylic markers. Now, my idea was I wanted to use the acrylic markers to make like a fully rendered, at least background. I was at first thinking of doing the whole thing, but I only got through the background. So what I did was color in each of the things in the background. I had to start from the very back, so first the yellow, and then build up the layers from the back. And I went over the line lines with the... Um, markers so everything in the back is covered all the black lines are covered with the acrylic markers to make it look like a, more of like a rendered art piece now it was pretty time consuming and also i had a very limited selection of colors so by the time i was done with the uh, especially with the bark because i did not have that many colors i actually had to mix black with the browns to do this area here um and i didn't have that many colors to transition the greens for example so i had this like um speckling effect that i did with the grass and a lot of scribbling went on here to get those mushrooms to look like that so i was kind of tired of doing all that so for the main subject i decided you know what I got my point across I'm switching to alcohol markers so you'll see in the back I did this guy entirely in, al in alcohol markers I had even done a different color for these little dots and it looked really off especially with the colors I had chosen for the background so I made them darker and then I grabbed the jelly roll glaze and went over this mushroom and the little dots to give them a bit of shine and that was the finished piece and yeah so you can see there you've got some little bits of shine on the page and i think i like the, the the overall results especially the um the leaving the the black lines on the main character kind of makes them pop from the background and i really adore how the background came out especially the mushrooms in the back those two mushrooms look so good um i'm definitely gonna have to try that again maybe i'll i'll film it and and see if i can do a color along um there was another one in here that i was actually considering that didn't win out which was this page here and doing it in that style where i cover all the black lines and i think especially since this is so much black line i think it would look really good with that style where i basically uh, get rid of all the black lines as i start coloring um, so hopefully I, I managed to do that and we'll see if I managed to film it now that I have this, this new setup, which makes it a lot easier. I have so much space here and I don't have to worry about the camera um, getting or the tripod getting in my way. So uh, that'll make it easier. So that was Fantasy Mushroom Special and the page I did was from Lainey Dow. And the final book for both months <laughs> is my project book, Worlds of Wonder, which is the book I want to complete eventually. Not this month, not this year, but I am trying to make, uh, finish one page per month. And uh, this one ended up with a lot of work in progresses, but the ones I finished, so this was the first one I finished, which I just noticed I did not sign. Uh, but this was a buddy color that I had started um in june finished in the beginning of july with winter 89 colors and this was my i'd say first attempt yes first attempt at using gouache on a page so the brown of the mushroom house and the background is uh, gouache and then green as well all of the uh this green part here is gouache and then i used brute funer pencils and some uh, water-based markers for some of the other details i used uh, jelly roll metallic for the silver i 
think that's it. Yeah, so it went well. I think it's fine. I like it. Uh, I and yeah, let's let's just leave it at that. I like it. It it could be better. Um, I had a hell of a time picking colors for this, and the brown looks red on pretty much everything, which is kind of funny because I was trying to avoid red for this. Um, but it is a very reddish brown, especially on a uh, camera. It looks red. Wow. Yeah, I can assure you it's it's supposed to be brown. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I did not manage to shade the brown either, and it's it's whatever. It's fine. It it was too dark, and I was tired of this page, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna call it done. And I was late for uh with my buddy, so I was like, you know what? Here we go. This is it. I'm done. It is finished. <laughs> so now I'm gonna move this here and show off Winters. Winters did a fabulous purple one because uh, she too did not want to go red and um, I absolutely adore the purple. I think I would have gone purple too if not for the fact that I recently did another page with uh, purple mushroom houses. So I just didn't want to use purple again either. Um, so yeah, I was just trying to make my life hard and um, we both went for the circle background. It's slightly different in both cases. I like hers. It's more round. Mine looks a bit off down here, but it's fine. It's it's fine. Um, but yes, so thank you, um, Winter, for coloring with me. And um, I can't wait to do some more in this book because uh, this is a, a project book for both of us. So then um, I have some work in progresses here, but I also... Right, so that was my June page. So then for July, I was picking at... So what happened was... When I color, when I prepared the brown wash, I had it out in a palette and I made too much. So I had so much brown paint left over. So I'm like, what do I do with this brown paint? I don't want to let it dry and I don't want to like throw it out and clean this out. So what do I do? So I came to this page and I said, well, I'll do all the brown bits with, cause I had two versions of brown, the uh, darker one and the lighter one that I'd use for this. So I switched pages. And I just started using the paint that I had. And I colored everything that I thought would go well with the two browns that I had. And then I still had a lot of paint. <laughs> so I'm like, where else can I put paint down? And so I grabbed this page and did all the brown. And I noticed that I had some green left over from uh, another project. So I reactivated the green. And, and did all the little bits of green. And I only had enough paint to do two levels of this. And then I ran out. So now I'm going to have to do the same. Something um, to finish the other levels. But um, yeah. So I had started a lot of pages in June. So anyways. Uh, the other thing I had done. Was start this page. Which is, is a lot more advanced now. Because I actually did work on it a lot in, in July. But I haven't finished it yet. Um, and I am worried and have been avoiding trying to go back to finish the background because this was uh, also gouache and I was mixing as I went and I ran out of blue uh, mixed paint and I was tired after doing this page so I only got this far and now I'm gonna have to mix more to do the rest and hopefully I managed to get the same color because I was not doing a straight color I was mixing some uh, I don't think it was white. I think I was mixing two blues together and I didn't even write it down. So pray for me that I get the same color combination so I can do the rest and make it actually match the other side. But yeah, so I had a lot of work in progresses. Um, was that it? for the, Yeah. And instead of working on those for my work in progress month, I went to this page. So this is the page I finished for July. And this page had been started when I first got the book. I was testing out markers. So the Worlds of Wonder bits were done in some fine liners. I think they're Stedler fine liners that my partner had in the house. Um, this area here up to like around there was colored with Amazon Basics uh, pencils. And these two were colored as well with the fine liners. That's it. That's as far as I got. And so I decided that, you know what, for for my July 
finished page. I knew I could do this. It, it looks simple enough. So um, I, I threw a lot at this. It's got, um, I ended up using some, I got these acrylic markers that are not opaque. So they don't cover the lines, but they still provide a nice smooth coverage. So I use that for the green, uh, for these guys here, and for the background of the stars back there. And yeah, the border was also colored with them. And it worked out great. You can still see the lines. And then on top of that, I used some Brute Fiender pencils to add sh shading. I used, I think it was Brute Fiender pencils to shade here with a purple uh, color, just so that I could go over all the colors with the same uh, pencil. And then I shaded the, the sides as well. And then I did all of the metallic bits with, oh, what was that? That was in July. God, I have such a big list of stuff. Oh, it's the Ahuhu acrylic markers. So these... So I used these for all of the decorative elements in this page. And they are faintly metallic. Um, yeah, you can see the shine there. And I used three different colors and I kind of just alternated which color I was using for each area. So that was that. And then um, I didn't want to leave the whole background white for the cloud area, but I didn't want to do the inside area. And I knew I wanted to do something of a gradient. So I grabbed watercolor pencils and did that, that background with watercolor pencils and used water to um, activate it. It's, it's a bit blotchy, but it's fine. It looks, it looks fine. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of my earlier pages, but honestly, considering the amount of stuff that I threw at this page and how old this work in progress was, um, Gosh, this was, yeah, when I first got the book. This was my very first coloring book, and this was like one of the very first pages I had started just to test out my supplies. So I think it's great that I finally have this done, especially because now I can look through the book and the first few pages are all colored. And I started doing this page uh, for this month, so that's a that's a sneak peek. Um, but yeah, so I have I have quite a few pages in a row done. I, I do want to get to this one soon. But then I have these two pages done. Um, and I think that's it for the consecutive ones. Yeah. So um, yeah, I got a lot done. And yeah, I did do quite a bit of this. Uh, but this page is daunting. It is big. It has a lot of empty space. And um, I've been struggling to get it done. I think my, my favorite part is the band. But you'll probably see this again if I manage to finish it this month. Um, but I have been chipping away at it. And I knew I had to start these like bigger double page spreads sooner or later. Because I don't want them to be the last thing left to finish the book. Because uh, I tend to gravitate towards the easier pages in this book just to get them done. And um, that is not conducive to finishing everything. And now I have these other pages that have... Um, been started so I have an excuse for for going back and doing them so yeah I might do um I don't know if I should do a like how I'm doing um because I have now completed uh I have officially completed a quarter of this book so I might do a flip through would you be interested in that let me know and um yeah almost forgot one page I finished in Worlds of Wonder this one the final page in the book and uh, probably one of my favorites since the beginning. I just really like this particular pattern page. Um, so during my um, let's make everything a rainbow phase, I decided to tackle this page too. Hi. So yeah, this page uh, was fun to do. I zoned out using a black acrylic marker for the black background. And that took... I think three sessions of just doing that. Um, I did have to be careful with the um, butterfly, uh, what do you call those? The um, antenna. Because the antennas were just a black 
line. So what I did was leave a white border along the black line so that I could use that to color it in afterwards. Then I used, um, I believe this was a hoo hoo water, water based markers for the uh, butterflies. And I again used the flags that I had already um, picked out to do each of these in a separate as a separate flag using the colors of the flag for each of them. And then I believe the rainbows were done with the Crayola super tips. So I did that and um, I used uh, Jelly Roll Metallics for the gold for the um, stars and all the little dots in the background. And then I used, I think it was water-based marker. I have a water-based marker that I can use for that shading for the white flowers. It's a very light uh, purplish color that works really well for shading white and uh, gives you that slightly shaded look with just marker. And yeah, um, that was fun for the most part. I enjoyed it. I have one at least mistake in this page and it was funny asking my partner to see if they could spot it. I told them I had um, made a mistake in one of the rainbows. They could not spot it, uh, but I'll, I'll, you can pause now or uh, give you a bit of time before pointing out that this one here, I got the blues in the wrong border. <laughs> Luckily it's in the border and I don't think you can really see it unless I point it out. Um, but I like pointing out my mistakes. So there you go. Um, but yeah, I can't believe I almost forgot to mention this page because I, I really like how it looks. I just love this page so much. I really like how pattern pages like this look when it's done. It looks very busy and uh, complicated before you start when everything is white. But once you start blacking out the backgrounds and adding color slowly, because it's the same elements over and over on the page, um, I find that it is super just relaxing for the mind to uh, work on. And Earl wants to say hi. You want to say hi? Yeah? Yeah? Look at his fluffy butt. Hmm? <laughs> you gonna flop? Yes. Yes. Thank you for flopping. Oh gosh, we can barely see you. You're so dark. I have the settings too light so that we can see the white. You're too dark, sir. You're just like a shadow. You don't exist in the camera. Hmm? So one of the other group coloring page, uh, group buddy colors that I'm participating in is AC Any Day by Amanda Colors. So this is from Any Day by Morgan O'Brien. Uh, this was June's page that was picked out by Christina. And I immediately gravitated towards my yellow background thing. So I decided this was going to be a... Initially, I had thought of like sunrise, but this looks more like a sunset to me. It came out a lot more orange um, than I expected. Looks more like a sunset, um, but I love the colors. Again, I'd used only alcohol markers for all the coloring. I tried using um, more yellow tones for the rocks over here and more gray blue tones over here. And um, definitely happier with the colors I used for her coloration then on my first page and I did use a bit of um, jelly roll white to add some little specks of light to little berries. So that was June's page and then we have July's page was walking along the beach and again all of this was done in alcohol marker and um, with a bit of white uh, oh yeah, that was the other thing I used. Um, so both of these have an outline in Huhu, um, acrylic marker. 
just to bring her forward from the background. And I had already done that on the first page that we did together. So I decided to keep that trend up and uh, do it for all the pages moving forward. We'll see how that goes. Uh, so I chose the like yellow orange for the sunset page and blue basically taking the color of the sky and bringing it down along the subject. Not just any day in her in this case, but her little doggy as well. And um, yeah, overall, really happy with this. I decided to do a lot more sand in the beach picture because that kind of reminded me of the, um, I think it's called Pampas in, southern, in northern Chile, which is where I used to vacation with my family when I was a kid. And we'd have beaches that look like this where you'd walk along the edge and there'd be like a lot of encroaching sand in in the in the area because of dunes and and stuff like that so yeah uh i really like these they're fun to make i like the morgan o'brien style and the whole like circle art style um they're simpler they're easier to do these take about an hour maybe two to finish and um they're a nice uh palette cleanser from the more difficult pages we tackle sometimes so that is in Any Day by Morgan O'Brien. And then we will finish off with one little piece of art that I did because July is Art Fight, which is a um, friendly competition where people draw each other's uh, characters. And I only got one done, even though I was going to do two. I have a circle ready here for the second one that I never got to. But I finished this piece and I don't have the artist's name or the character name, but I will put that on screen um, for you. And yeah, that was fun. Um, I like drawing things in circles. It it kind of gives you like a confined space to work in. This uh, this book is, is not great for alcohol marker, but I did use alcohol marker to color her in. It, uh, it has a, a strange effect with the alcohol marker. It kind of makes it like grainy almost. Um, probably because this is a very, very old sketchbook. Um, but since I was working on stuff for uh, this um, art fight, I decided this was fine. And yeah, so mostly alcohol markers. I used some pencil shading to darken some areas and add some shading to the border. I also used an acrylic pen to do the flowers because I may have forgotten she had flowers in her hair until after I had colored everything. So uh, acrylic to, the, to to save the day and I did uh, basically two tones to get the flowers down. But yeah, happy to get some actual art done. I, I procrastinate every time. I want to do more art, but then it's like, oh, but what if I just colored today? <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe maybe I should do some more portraits like that, not of someone's character necessarily, but just generic portraits and maybe do like a portrait book. I don't know. Would people be interested in that? Um, maybe do some like fantasy, tropey, like uh, D and D character kind of um, art. Um, I have some uh, races that I made for my own D and D game that are not typical that I could also use as inspiration for portraits. Um, seems like some parts of the community really like portraits. So let me know what you think, and I will see you next time. Bye.